Well, I have a son. He's four. So <laughs> he does have a little friend, Emily. Oh, She's no. Very cute. But she, uh, I don't, I, she might be a, she might be a pop star someday. I don't know. Um, what would be the most well, terrifying person to bring home? Your daughters are actually no, I, early I, dating age. I'm pretty open-minded. I mean, listen, I have a lot. I wouldn't want them to bring home James Harden because I think he hogs the ball too much <laughs> on offense. <laughs> but high usage, athlete, no one high usage. I, I actually don't want them to date professional athletes, and I don't think that's going to be an issue because I think I, yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Even if you're Taylor Swift, who's dated all these celebrities, how many women has T- uh, Travis Kelsey been with over the last 10 years of his NFL career? The dude had a dating show. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I would not want to date a pro athlete because I would wonder. I mean, women have probably thrown themselves at this guy. His I whole think life. that's the same with musicians, though. I think yeah. I don't. I've had I friends date who are musician musicians, either. and I do not think they've ever had any trouble. No, I trying know. to get get ladies. Um, that's why if I'm, I yeah, I don't know what's going. On. And the other thing too, you don't go on a third date or whatever it was, second date, maybe non date, and meet the mom and sit next to the mom. That part okay. is really putting okay. me off. Can we just? Let's all come to our senses for a moment. Okay. Number one, probably too soon to meet the mom, right? Way too soon. Way too soon. I think it's a little too soon. Call me old-fashioned. Might be a little too soon to meet the mom. That would be my first thing. Then the second thing is, guys, are we sure this is real? It's real, right? Or is this just one big PR stunt? Well, Taylor has an album coming out. But she just, she shouldn't need Travis Kelsey. See, that's the one thing mm. I can't figure out in the whole equation. I get why Kelsey would want her to try to raise his star and all of that. He's openly pursuing her. He was talking about it in the media. Wait, I yeah, don't but see Travis what she Kelsey, gets out of What does she get out of him? I don't think Travis Kelsey was after her to raise his profile. I think he just wanted to hook up with her. Or that and have her write a song about him. The guy I think the whole his... thing is about no, him no, wanting no. a song written about him. I don't think so at all. He was already famous enough to host Saturday Night Live. I don't think he was worried about fame. I think he just... No, it's fame and profile. Like, mm. it's one thing to just be famous. It's another to have the Taylor Swift, like, stamp of approval. Or I think a lot of guy. I think he wants to hook up with her. I think a lot of people just watch Just to prove her. that he can. No, I think he's attracted to her. Uh, well, okay. So are a lot... Yes, because she's very attractive. What does she get out of it for by dating him? Because you're right. Professional athletes don't have great uh, reputations. Well, I assume he's attractive. And he's nice, and his podcast is awesome. I mean, that's some things work. He's podcast got an awesome, awesome podcast with his brother. <laughs> Talking about Taylor Swift here. The podcast is it's, awesome? I mean, it's way Who better cares? than all the British dudes she, she's been dating. Like, what is it not to like about Travis Kelsey? This is what I don't understand. It's it, it seems like a lot of the Swifties are like, oh, this is good for her. It's like dating a professional athlete. Well, they're thrilled that's that, good for her. That's thr- not good for anybody. <laughs> thrilled he's American. I mean, she's gone through basically <laughs> skinny British guys. Okay, so now you're, but Travis Kelsey is like, um, he's like a caricature. There's so many many good things about Travis Kelsey. He's super tight with his mom. Uh, He's a huge family man. He's never gotten in trouble. He's never gotten in trouble. I mean, listen, has he gotten in trouble? Small stuff. Like what? Oh, did he get in trouble at some point? In college for smoking weed. Didn't he get kicked off the team or whatever? Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't following the Cincinnati Bearcats closely. (laughs) He mentioned it in his SNL skit, his monologue. Well. I don't know. He seems like a, he's one of the NFL's quote unquote good guys. Who knows what he's like? Listen, guys. we've interviewed him and a couple times. He is very nice, but I would also have said that about Deshaun Watson. We don't know these guys. I, yeah. I'm not. I'm not indicting Travis Kelsey. I'm just saying I don't see what what she gets out of this unless she really just wants to date a jock. Well, the other like thing, her songs would imply that she kind of never had this sort of thing where she was always the sort of theater nerd person, and he's like the big jock. And now maybe she gets to play out that fantasy of, like, cheering for him in a luxury suite. I don't said, know what she gets from this. But he's definitely one of the top five most eligible bachelors in the NFL. Would you say, I mean, I first of all, the fact that he's so close with his brother to me, Jason Kelsey is the most awesome person. I think that all <laughs> helps. But Travis Kelsey's a, you know, he's sort of a Casanova, right? He's famously attractive to women, I thought. I mean, I guess, but we're talking about, like, Taylor Swift is kind of, like, on a level with, like, her and Beyonce, and I'm not really sure who else is on that level. Yeah. And Travis Kelsey is a, is a very good, maybe one of the best tight ends ever, sure, but, like, I don't see him as having that big profile. Anyway. Yeah, but. You're, you're right. He did, he did host SNL. But we're talking about two different levels here, I think. Well, I mean, if you're a, a pop star, if you, you want to date an athlete, like, all the famous women stars date athletes don't they is that that's not outrageous and if you're gonna date an athlete travis kelsey's as good as anyone else i guess 
I guess so. I mean, honestly, the you lead think singer... this is real? Yes, I do. And also, by, because I believe in love, unlike you. Yeah. Uh, the other thing, too, is like it's way better than the lead singer of the 1975 or Tom Hiddleston. Yeah, or, I don't know who any of these other guys yeah, are. Yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal, I understand. At least he was a big Hollywood star. I mean, she was going Scrub City, USA. I love Tom <laughs> Hiddleston as an actor, by the way. Wait, can I just tell you an actual real email that I got yesterday? I saw it yesterday evening, and this is odds of what will the Daily Mail dub Swift and Kelsey coupling? This is from like betonline.ag. Yes. Swellsey, three to one. Hmm. Ackerman like that. <laughs> Tay Trey. Mm, I think they're missing. Trift. Trift. Travis. Swiftis. These are so dumb. Yeah. Uh, this is like a real bet that you can make. That's no, nothing has the, the catch like a Benefer or a... Uh... No, it doesn't have it yet. Like they, uh, what is what are some famous names? What were A Rod and J uh, J Rod? J Rod? Uh, I never. No, heard it that. wasn't J Rod. It was uh, J Lo. No, that's no, her that's real. That's just name. her name. A <laughs> Rod. No, that's his name. <laughs> I don't think they had a nickname. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you don't think it's real? Another I, show bet. Uh, this is this is me with an eyebrow, way up, skeptical. I can't one. believe you don't think Travis Kelsey is. I do not think for a second that he's a step down from for somebody like like who's she going to date? If not Travis Kelsey, she's not going to date another musician. He's he's fine. I mean, yes, he's not LeBron, but Le, LeBron's already married. He's a big enough <laughs> star. He's a great player, a huge personality, insanely good dancer. He's got it all. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I never really thought of it that way before. Insanely good dancer. Oh, uh, Travis Kelsey is one of the. Great celebrators in the NFL. I'm trying to see if I had more of these uh, bets. I got a few more of them. Like, what I was most surprised by, this was bet online, that will Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift be a couple at the start of the 2024 season? So next season was minus money. That was the favorite. It was like minus 150 that they would still Mm. be a couple next year. Do you believe in love that much? Do you think they'll be dating next year? I think this could be the real deal. I, re- I really do. I think that they have a great chance, these two little kids. <laughs> Felt like in their 30s. I mean, honestly, I think Taylor is going to be 100% into him. The question is, will his interests really, you know, will he be super into this? Uh, She's oh, going to be touring he's... the world, and he's a, you know, I don't know. That's another bet. If the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl, will Taylor Swift appear at the game and there was a caveat. She has a show at the Tokyo yeah. Dome on February 10th, and the Super Bowl is February 11th. Yeah. The NFL will, uh, whoever runs that department of the NFL will have a conniption if Taylor Swift is at the game and not playing halftime, and it's Usher. He's not going to like that. <laughs> well, that's it's going to be Usher. We know that now. I know. I'm just Usher's saying. going to be great. They've been wanting to have, oh, yeah, I knew you would love Usher. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> they're playing into all, this is like, it's yeah. my time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, They're now going for the nostalgia play. That's my era. Yeah. This yeah. is amazing. This is like what my pa- parents must feel like when the Beatles do stuff. But you will agree Taylor Swift would maybe be a bigger deal if they could get her for halftime than Usher. Yeah, obviously. But I'm I'm personally by way, very excited. What happened to our Eagles fandom? Anyway, I know we got a break, but remember you're from Reading. Hello. Yeah. Turning her Redding, back. Reading, Pennsylvania. Turning her back on Dallas Goddard and the Eagles. <laughs> That's who she should be dating. Uh, <laughs> yikes. 855 212 4 cbs 855 212 4 